Welcome to Savior, a indie horror game that looked interesting. Wait, did I just see tentacles? Oh boy, I don't remember downloading a porn game, but no, uh, jokes aside, wait, yeah, there it is. Questionable, very questionable. Um, and a giant hand. Wait, tentacle again? Hand, hand, wait, wait, wait for it. More hand. More, more hand. Okay, that hand's intention, horror. I want you to see the tentacle thing, man. Okay, the tentacle became shy, apparently. Anyways, I don't know, indie horror game. I'll have to read the store page after we get into it, I guess. Ooh, okay. But it looked like an interesting RPG maker game? RPG game? Where, where is this? I can feel the gaze somewhere. Was it... Because of that dream. First I need to look around here. There's a sink. I think the water is still coming out. Cool. But yeah, let's read the game store page. I am curious. It was part of another... Another? 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 I'm not sure if I should say another, because like there's a bunch of games I played and a bunch I had to drop. Just because of how boring they were. I won't n mention names just so that I don't like shame some indie developers here, but... Uh, some are just really, really boring. Uh, Savior is an RPG maker, yep, uh, style horror adventure game. To avoid sudden death, always pay attention and be suspicious of things around you. Collect and use a variety of tools to get around. Please lead the protagonist safely so that the protagonist can achieve his or her purpose safely. What do you mean his or her? I see titties. I'm going to presume female? I, I, I don't know why they're saying his or her unless I get to choose my character at some point? I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. Just pick one. I don't, I don't know, man. Anyways. Uh, wait, we can just save here? Or is this a load? Ah, there is a load here. I see, I see. Alright. What is this? Diary of Previous Inmate. Read. I finally found a way out of this damn place. There is an elevator in what they call Corridor 4, and you can use that elevator to go upstairs. I don't know how far it is connected, but at least it would be better than here. I need to implement my escape plan tonight. So I'm hoping it's like a game that's like The Witch's House will be death and gruesome shit. Because I miss those kinds of things. Ah, here we go. And it's in Chinese. Or presumably Chinese. Who knows, it could be Vietnam. Uh, it's so dark here. It has my... Yeah, my character's name is Stella, number 1007, 43.8 kilograms and 152 centimeters. Not sure they say hey or him or her. It's so dark I can't see it. Well, what is what is this smell? I guess it's just been sort of fan translated. But yeah. I'm hoping death happens. It's an open vent. Where are they connected? No! Well, you can go back. Good, 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 good. I want death. Wait, what? He just... I can't get past because it's blocked by a pile of stones. Hmm. I feel like I could die if I go in a, a wrong direction. I'm hoping it is death related. Like, the kind of indie horror uh, RPG maker game where it's just like you die and there's gruesome images. I would love for that. And all of a sudden... Kid, are you okay? Looks like she's dead. Poor. The girl is ho holding a drop in her hand. What? Drop? I'm sorry. The fuck is a drop? Lord save this soul. A bell. What the f What's a bell got to do with a drop? You mean it... This is a weird translation problem. The bell filled on the wrist... Filled on the wrist. Oh boy, these translations. I'm not sure who did them, or it's, if it's Google Translate, but... Questionable. But we got a bell. Brains. Guts. Knife. More stones. Oh, damn. We got crunched. Nice. We did get killed. We got eaten. Excellent. All right. That's cool. Wait, is the save point a tentacle? Save point is a tentacle. Let's uh, quickly... Uh... Huh? Take... Let's go back to what we're doing. And then save. Save, yes. Thank you. We gotta find out all the ways to die! 
stop. You will become a monster soon. Alrighty then. You'll become dead soon, I guess. I mean, he's already dead. Not soon, but now. Would you like to take the blooded ID card? Yeah! It's an ID card with blood on it. If I make it clean... Ah, I see. If I keep going, I'm probably gonna die. Read it. Notes. Inmates of prison C are blind, but very sensitive to sound. So, like, the creatures are all SCP kind of related, maybe? Because it seems to be like, um, what does it make me think? It's making me think a little bit of the suffering. I don't know, the suffering and something else. Uh, maybe the suffering in SCP, I don't know. We'll see as uh, we go forward. Whenever the inmate of Prison A2 become, uh, makes a bell sound, it shows strong aggression. Oh. You mean with the bell I have? Happen to have? I really, really shouldn't ring it? I can't. I can't use it. No, wrong, wrong door, no! Ah, uh, no! Let's just uh, ignore that happened. Okay, we need to go to the soldier all over. Wait. Don't know what that means. Uh, I went through the wrong door. I thought it was the the door back to uh, the save point, which is what I wanted. You get to watch him die again, I guess. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. All right, this time, I'm gonna wash it in the sink. Yes. Yep. Save. We'll be doing a lot of saving, especially if I'm going to presume death is around the corner, so I don't lose as much progress. Let's see if we can go in here. No. We already read this, but... Door is opened. So. Aw, no death scene? It's just a... a fast-moving zombie that comes after you and then game over? Aw. I was hoping for something. Oh well. Let's see what we can steal from here. Oh! Threw a drop. The bell? No, wait! No, no, there's a pre it was a precious drop? No! We're loading. I gotta find out what's over there. Maybe we will die. I must find out. We can go to the vents, and that's where I'll go last, of course, but... It just... Instant collapse. Alright. Um... All right, well, let's, fig let's figure out what's in here. Warehouse. Unknown researcher's diary. It seems that a long time has passed since I started my research. I thought there was no such thing as compassion for sacrifice, but recently I'm being overwhelmed by strange feelings. Whenever I see a sacrifice, I feel something like an unknown homogeneity? Hom homogeneity? Geneity? I'm not familiar with this word. Geneity? Geneity? It's not my vocabulary. It's not my vocabulary. And eh, whatever. And when you make sacrifices to the barriers, barriers, or experiment with them, you feel like a strange sense of immor, immor immorality. I said immortality first. Is it because you are tired of work? Strange. This is a hammer. Will having it help me? Out of reach. Push. No. Okay. Um, like you could just climb on the shelving unit, but push. Gospel chapter 2, section 1. The great father kicked out by traitors. The false ones ruled the world and oppressed the offspring of the true ruler. Children who have inherited the blood of the great door drive out those who are not, lie, and prepare to greet your father. Alrighty then. I feel like... Oh, no, no! I can't pull it, probably. Alright. Records of the what now? Lacrimosa. We have succeeded in... Fucking cars. We have succeeded in expelling the tyrant by borrowing the power of another great being, but it is not dead yet. In order to maintain the barrier to hide us from the tyrant, we must sacrifice his descendants. How long will it last? There is also one request from us by the great being who helped us. That's right. The following content has been lost. It instantly made me think of Attack on Titan, but sure. Let's go in the vents! And back in the vents! It's an open vent. Who knows? Let's get that stool. 
this time. Yes. Got hammer. Is it a weapon now? It's a hammer. Can I break something? I don't know. Can you? It's a good question. Maybe. Break something. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in here I would need to break, but eh, whatever. Save. Good progress so far. Hmm. Break this. Break you. Break. Eh, whatever. Through the drop. I mean, I don't know why they keep calling a bell a drop. I mean, it makes it, like drop is in like RPG drops, loot. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's strange wording, but. Eh. Dirty traitors. Although I disappear from this place, my brothers will bring back the true ruler. Your false world will face ruin. Great Father, forgive me for my failure. Hmm. Would you like to use a hammer? <laughs> Don't use and mystery font. Hmm. Well, looks like they're having fun. Guy's getting, uh, railed against the wall. Interesting. Oh, don't stop, Ronald. Oh. Can I go in there and watch it again? Damn. If only. It was quite entertaining to me, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, oh. I just saw something at the last second. I wish I could watch that animation again. But yeah, no, I want to find out what it is that just killed me there. Do I get chased by something? Oh! A rock! I don't think it was a rock that hit me the last time. Okay, wait. I want to see what it is that killed me the first time. Is it like a gray shadow blob? I think a rock just like quickly drops on me, but there's no sound effects. It's kind of weird, I don't know. Whatever. There's boulders that are falling on my head. And being thrown at me. So let's just, like, stand right here. I can see those happening, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Coming here is it gonna, gonna kill me, is it? Yeah, this is story related, or this is where I get killed. Excellent. I do want to die as many times as I can. I feel bad. I'm uh, feeling bad for the main character, though, of course, because me being thorough means, haha, main character. Main character is gonna die a lot <laughs> because I want to see how they die. But yeah, let's uh, avoid the rocks this time now. And also not go down the path of the uh, giggly girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, <it's... laughs> Come on, rock. Thank you. We had to go very... <laughs> we had to go very slowly. It feels like if you go a certain distance, it spawns a rock to get thrown at you. It's not time-based from the last rock, but it's like after a certain point, the rock gets thrown anyways. So it's about preparing, like right here, and here, and then, uh, or just the longer I'm on, there we go. I feel like I should keep going down, but, ah, save point. Maybe you had to go back down. Mm. We'll see. Mutant B24. After one year of administration of DH-235 to the subject and inflicting extreme pain, it began to mutate. Mutations are in the form of slick tentacles throughout the body and are spotty. Mm -hmm. There are black horns at the tip of the tentacles and there are caterpillar-like folds at the bottom. As they approached for investigation, that showed high aggression and attacked two researchers. The recordings are now found on Pornhub. 
This mutant does not react to minerals and appears to be sensitive to human flesh. We quarantined the mutant for disposal, then the mutant ceased its activity. Sensing surrounding objects did not stop, and as soon as they approached the area, they started attacking again. Dr. J. Hmm. I knew it. Yeah, believe it or not, I, I did feel that was a trap, but I mean... I'm not gonna leave a stone unturned. I'm not even sure what really killed me if I was got, like, impaled by something or not. Was that the tentacle thing? Let's see again. I... I don't know. Something just kills me, simply. Well, anyways, uh... Oh. Ow. Killed me during... Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's try it again. Oh, Jesus. Ah! <laughs> nice. Thank you, Rox. Madman's arm. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Um, interesting. At least, uh, like, I, I wish there's more images like that where, um, you know, it was, like, potential death scenes showed themselves. Oh. It might be something there, but it might just be instant death the lower I go. We'll have to see. Because they definitely spawn from around there, but it looked like I saw something. I'll have to find out. Come on. Nope. Ah! Maybe I have to try to rush it. It'd be hard to move out of the way when the rock spawns that close. There's very little warning. Let's try to run, like, right now. Nope. They just magically spawn and get thrown from... A dead-end rocky area. That's cool. Madman's arm. Plant. Uh, looks like another thing that'll chase me in the bottom there, but also a furnace. Uh, the Great One. <laughs> and one with the numerical one rather than the word one, which is probably what it should be. We do not know exactly what great beings are. However, what is certain is that their mental dimension is far above humans. Makes me think of fear and hunger now. Uh, Inhumans suffer damage to the extent that their minds are disrupted just by trying to recognize them. Hmm. Cthulhu-ish? There is no way to harm them unless they are on the same level as them. It can be said that being itself is a disaster for mankind. It is presumed that there was a great existence who ruled the Earth in the past, but it cannot be found at present. I would definitely want to see it with the scholar's inquiry spirit, but for mankind, it'd be very good. Hopefully the day will come, or will not come, when my inquisitive spirit is filled. No worries, we got a tentacle that can make your spirit get filled. If you know what I mean. Ho ho ho. Save. I'm not sure which direction I really should go, though. There's so many directions I could go. Uh... Alpha Beta all assembled in front of all that shit. Crazy. If everyone evacuate, what happened? The jailer's crazy bastard locked the door. It doesn't even open with a gun. Doors don't open because you shoot them, yes. Uh, I mean, is this America? Sound is cut off. It's like, I'm in America. The store ain't opening no matter how many times I shoot at it. It's like, have you tried opening it with the doorknob? No, man, you shoot the doors open. God damn it. Uh, ten humans with factors, supplementary wit wind? Sacrifice you something... I... that sounds confusing, I don't know. Physician, no health problems... oh no, not vitamin D deficiency. However, the anxiety and pounding in my heart, and I still feel... still do not stop. It's like a wild beast approaching me right in front of me. Sounds like the start of a horrible fanfic now, too. Are the ghosts of people who have died so far tormenting me? I think I should consult Dr. J. Something is wrong with this. Even the medicine that Dr. J gives doesn't work. Something, something is coming. <laughs> I don't know why I'm twisting things in a lewd way. I have no idea why I'm in this fun, like, fucking twist everything to be lewd mood. Every time I think of it, vitamin D deficiency, he's like, tee hee hee, you know, immature kind of jokes, but for some reason that's just the mood I'm in right now. I, I don't know why. It's gonna- it's gonna kill me, isn't it? What's making that noise? Death? 
It's locked. How do I open? What's making that noise? I'm paranoid. What is this? Plant? I knew the truth of this world. The beings of filthy blood were the descendants of the true rulers of this world, and I too were the descendants of a great ruler. The reason I have felt loneliness in the past because I was different from others, and I can understand the irrational oppression and inequality of this world. The domination of the unqualified led to this twist. Now I must end the false dominion and make all equal under the true dominion. A again, it just keeps making me think of Attack on Titan, but... God damn it. Of course, it had to be the bookshelf. Maybe they're trying to take revenge for me kicking down the, uh, the trash. Do I die if I don't kick down the trash? Internal audit report. Oh. Uh, operatives have recently infiltrated the organization. They look like people from some pseudo-religious group, but I don't know what their purpose is. As a result of grasping the circumstances, the infiltration has been carried out since the past and is assumed that there's a traitor inside the organization, as it seems they have in easily penetrated our security net. If you see a suspicious person at the crew to report to the top immediately. And... Alright, that's it. I'm gonna get revenge on the bookshelf then, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. You know what? Bookshelf? You want you want to do that to me? You know what? Yeah, fuck you. That's what I think about you. Gospel? Hide in the liars... Hide in the liars and eat their flesh. Purify the fallen sanctuary to prepare a new temple where the great will return. Eh, just... Eh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Why is the door making that weird blinky noise, though? I don't know, man. Um, I don't know if... The door code is in this room. I don't think it was in... Whoops. I don't think it... I might need to use the arm, perhaps, for the zombie that was in, like, the, the kitchen area? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. don't think there's anything in here. Oh. Um. That was it? Where'd he go? He's gonna jump scare me at some point, isn't he? He's gonna jump from nowhere. Uh, this experiment is crazy. I don't. I didn't know I was going to do this before I entered the lab. But even if you ask about the purpose of the experiment, the answer is silent. Doctor J must be a demon. There's no way a human mind can do this. Humans are between 800 and 1,000 degrees, two hours incineration. Mutant humans require incineration at 1,500 or more for three hours. Oh. The generator is running. Uh, sure. I shouldn't, but I will. Oh. Skull! Yeah, sure. Just skull. I can't turn it back on. There could be something that needs burning, but isn't fully burned and is still alive then. I get a feeling that's what's gonna happen. Well... Ah... Uh, hmm... Not sure. I have to look around, I guess, to see what the code is to the door, if it truly is in this room or not. Or where that zombie went, because I didn't kill it. I am not sure why, but... I have no idea where I get the code of 9964, to be completely honest. I look up on the, the Steam... the form... Uh, the Steam form. I have no idea. I'm wondering if it's like the blinking is telling me the number, like if I count the... the this noise? Is it telling me 9 and then blank 964? I have no idea, to be honest. But, whatever. A sword we can't pick up. Convenient. Skull room. Well, we do have a skull. Email sent by the jailer. The Central Research Center has become a monster everywhere. The experiment seems to have ended in failure. I should have blocked Dr. J's project. If the monsters go outside, the world will be in chaos. Sorry for the survivor's lab, but I will close the Central Lab and confine the monsters here. Ask for my family and vic families of the victims. Okay. Probably should save before doing something, because I feel like I'll probably randomly die. Him in evolution. 
Yeah, Project Homo Dinus. Uh, currently, humans dominate the Earth as supreme predators, but we do not know when it will return. Therefore, not only do to maintain the barrier, but to counter it, mankind must go one step further. Uh, experiment method: 200 cc's of DH-235 is administered at 3 p.m. every day. Inflicts physical pain once every two days. A test subject with a strong mental power that lasts even after one month. Direct change is attempted by injecting random other shit. Writer. Okay. What? Something probably should be there. Hmm. Well then, what if I put the skull in here? Hmm. Is a button. Sure! Probably not... Probably not smart. Probably not at all. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, I, I released whatever's in there. Haha, <laughs> fun. Well, let's try not to die. Oh, thank God we can save. Alright, well, let's... Hmm. Figure out where we to go. Uh, we have to go now, I guess. Hmm. We do have a madman's arm. I'm not sure if we'll use it as bait, but hmm. Where will I go? Just gotta not die to the rocks here. Nope. Still up. Knew it. Gotta figure out where I'm going next. Subject serial name twelve. Stella. Oh, hey, that's me. Uh, sex. Fee fail? Okay. Fifteen years old estimated. Oh. Okay. That, that makes things awkward from the, the intro. Uh, uniqueness. Orphaned. The orphanage The orphanage that brought the specimen is, is presumed to be a facility operated by a cult who works against our organization. This is a profile of me. What the hell are you trying to do on me? Uh, I already read that one. Is there a middle one? No, just left and right. Again, though, I have to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, would you like to put down the madman's arm? Yes! Thank you. Yes! Not sure what that is, but hey, I figured out what I'm doing next. Excellent. It's a piece of paper drawn on something. What does it mean? Chair, book, table, couch. I could mean a lot of things, man. You know how many chairs or beds I've come across? Uh, it's like I had to search a specific chair. Oh boy. Okay. Um. I guess I'll be looking for a chair. I guess. Mm -hmm. Wait, the rocks have stopped. Wait, the. Okay, well, the rock, the, the dead end of the rocks is gone. Oh. Uh, it's probably gonna bust through and kill me, but you know, or not. About the Great One, too. Great One have no concept of human good or evil. They only move according to their desires. Some individuals want to dominate the world while others simply stand by. Their types are diverse, and even between them, there are superiority and inferiority. Okay. Blink, blink. Yep. Yep, yep. Mutant C17, experimental log. Experiments with adult specimens have yielded poor results, such as ending up the level of loss of reason in general. It is hypothesized that adults with full physical growth did not receive the did not receive the effects of DH235 properly in the experiment with subjects within 10 months of age. Syncopation? Syncopation? As a result of the experiment, it achieved rapid growth and enormal enorm enormity. At a level not previously observed in the process of growth, the skin turned purple, and the strength of the skin increased significantly. It turned into an Aoni. Intelligence remained unchanged at the newborn's level and developed a strong aggression. Through this case, it was confirmed that the younger the age, the higher the expression of drug effects. It is recommended to further lower the age range of the subjects in the future. Hmm, well, which is why my character is, I guess, 15. I guess... Wait, you! Ah! That's a weird face to fucking make. 
And we're uh, like, if my character is 15 years old, why is she wearing what she's wearing? It's a strange choice of clothing for a 15 year old, but you know, sure. <laughs> okay, I am normal. Don't be scared. Monsters are running around the facility right now. You have to get out of this place as quickly as possible. I mean, you're a scientist. You should know I'm like an experimented person, man. There's an elevator at the end of this hallway. I don't go to the ground at once. But I can go upstairs. Go ahead and go to the elevator. Who who are you? Do you know this place at all? I'm a researcher doing research here. I have no choice but to know. Well, uh, I, of course I know about this place, he's saying. Please tell me, why am I here? Uh, I can only say that it's because of an experiment. It's not... It, there's no time for this. Come on, you have to go to the elevator. I have to find out if there are survivors left. Sur saving people is the only atonement I can do right now. Sure. Ah. Wait. Well then. My only question is... The whole paper with the whole chair book thing. I want to find out if that is... Anything relevant of the future or not. So if I if I do save, I'm going to uh, only save on different save slots. But either way, I have to definitely run this time. I think it'll end the demo, though, when I do. He's got a face on his arm. Huh. Oh, oh, he moves fast. Oh, oh. Damn, okay. That is, uh, difficult. <laughs> Fucking baby crying noises. Ugh. Ugh. Baby crying noises. Why couldn't it just be creepy monster noises? Why'd it have to be actual baby? Even the baby in Resident Evil 8 had spookier noises. Alright, let's just, like, fucking bolt it. We gotta make sure we don't bump into things, too. He's just dead. Ugh, baby noises. Yeah, fuck you, baby. Um... Oh. See ya. When it fun when they punched the door, I, I I thought it was like a butt crack instead of its fist, but then I saw it was a fist. Okay, we're gonna have to load the game and check out that paper now. Because uh, if that's the end... Also, actually, you know what? I'm gonna check actually first. To see if there's anything to the right, since I uh, no, I know how to get by this baby now. It's not so hard since I I ran I ran pretty perfectly on the left here. <laughs> like at least perfect. Just do. Huh? Oh. Ah, uh, automatically gets dragged. All right. No, okay. I'm gonna have, to... gonna have to figure out what the note means. Could be a secret. You'll have to see. I have to find a chair and find out if there's like a, a hidden clue or something. But give me a moment, I'll, t I'll double check all areas that I've uh, been to. Because there's only one area, it's like literally the start is the only place. Oh, wait. Yeah, take. I guess I didn't save that. Wait. Never mind, it's just a bug. I have two of them now. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I just had to go backwards, that's all. I'll see if the girl kills me still, since the rock stopped, so... Yeah, she'll still kill me. I'm guessing I'm meant to count how many chairs are in here. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. Alright. How many books? One... Two... Okay, then I'd count... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A table. Then there should technically be six tables, and there is. And there should be four benches. Or couches? Are these couches? I don't even know what the, this is below here. I don't get it. Oh, the bench is right here. Okay. Four, man. Yeah. So 9964 would come from this. So you need to use the arm at the door 
I guess the, I guess the problem is for those that asked in the Steam form for the code, they probably died to this door. Then when they got the arm, they didn't think, you know, hey, this is a death door. They wouldn't imagine that they would use the arm to make the trap door grab the arm so you could get this item. Because usually most indie horror RPG maker games, you know, death traps like the one above, usually it's just a one-time thing. It's like, oh, you died to it? You know, it's just like that item, that sparkle is bait, and that's it. No one usually expects, oh, that bait is grabbable, but only if I do this. So I'd understand why people don't actually get this blooded memo, unless they're desperately searching for variables. Because I wouldn't expect that, oh, hey, this door kills me, but on the other hand, it's actually an item I can get, rather than just being forever bait. But either way, with that done, uh, interesting game. Uh, I don't play too many indie horror RPG maker games, so I'm sure it's a nice, refreshing, pleasant surprise for those uh, on the channel. It's been a long time, but let me know how you feel about this game. For those that enjoyed The Witch's House and all the other games, how only included, uh, let me know if you're actually feeling this game up, like uh, if you... Uh, think it has quality behind it or has potential let me know um i think it's okay uh, i could use better translation obviously um but in terms of like everything else like there's some good drawn images like the purple baby thing when it punched the elevator and its eye at the elevator if it had more art like that in situations like death scenes like i always say rpg maker games that are horror related have every single creature that kills you have some kind of art scene or death scene animation that would like make it so much better um, and make it lo more long-lasting. Because usually all the best indie horror RPG maker games have some for form of death scene or portrayal of gruesome death besides just blood-splattered screen and game over. But that's just my, you know, suggestion. But either way, let me know your comments down below if you enjoyed. Link in the description below if you want a wish list or... or try it yourself for some reason. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm -hmm.